What is God's will for you? Sometimes when people ask me to help them discover God's will for their life, I like to take them to some scriptures, some different scriptures, to show them what God's will is for their life. And the scripture I want to show you today is one of those that I like to take people to. It's 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verses 16 through 18. Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, in everything give thanks. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. This is God's will for you, that you would rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in everything. These are extreme statements, aren't they? You know, our house, around our household, we try to work on cutting down on the amount of times we, when we're frustrated with one another in a relationship in our home, and we accuse one another of certain things, sometimes we'll start using this extreme language of you always do this, you never do that. And that's not true, of course, and we call each other out on it. And so we're working on that, and it's something that we've, I hope, over time gotten better at. But here's one of those cases where God is the one who's saying what we ought to always be doing is giving thanks in everything is praying without ceasing, is rejoicing always. I kind of do it backwards there. All the time, rejoicing. All the time, praying. All the time, being thankful. What we have here are states of being that ought to be true of us as followers of Christ as we live in the Spirit, as we walk in the Spirit, not according to the flesh. Praying, always. Rejoicing, always. Giving thanks, always. I'll admit, I'm not there yet. I've got a long way to go. I've got a lot to grow in. But these are worthy goals. And we ought to be increasing in these things. How are you doing in those three areas? This is God's will for us, is to be striving after those things. So, as you think about God's will for your life, make sure when you're, in most cases, when you ask a pastor or you ask another spiritual leader or a friend of yours who's a Christian to help you find God's will for your life, you're thinking about circumstances. You're thinking about what job should I take or what career should I pursue or when we were younger, what person should I marry? What's God's will for me in those areas? And there's nothing wrong with seeking the Lord about those things. In fact, you should. But always make sure that while you're expending energy in pursuing God's wisdom on, in those areas, you're still, first and foremost, fulfilling his clearly revealed will for you. A life of constant prayer, a life of joy, a life of gratitude. This is God's will for you and for me.